welcome to 2018 everybody it is the first of january it is the 62nd weekly vlog welcome back or if you're new here welcome <laughs> yeah happy new year we are now in 2018 it's crazy utterly crazy i can't believe a whole year has like just flown by 2017 for me was an incredible year i mean the last couple of weeks of it weren't great but overall 2017 has been written off in my head as a really good and positive year um mental health wise stuff i've done wise friends just overall it's been an incredible incredible year it's been really good and i have really enjoyed 2017 and i made a little um 2017 video um which i'd really appreciate if you could go check out i'll leave it linked below and i'll leave it in a card if i remember to do so i'm always really bad at remembering to do all of that but i will try and leave it all so that you got you can watch it because i'm really proud of it it's got some really amazing memories in it we never really do anything to celebrate new year because for us it doesn't really mean anything um i know it does to like other people they're like new year new me but uh, for me it's just kind of like oh it's a, it's another it's a change of number now i've got to write instead of 2017 i've now got to write 2018 i've got to remember that but i don't really ever write the date very often anymore so that's not a big issue the only time i really do write the date is on these vlogs and i kind of always well, I don't know, because I've written 2017 for so long that it's weird that I'm going to now have to write 2018. So, it's a Monday, it's a new month, new year. Let's get 2018 to be the best year ever. And I've got some incredible stuff coming up in 2018. And most of you will probably know, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you will probably know most of this anyway. But I can finally say these things and it's just incredible. This year, I'm going to LA with my college. This year I'm finishing college, which is crazy. I'm also going to see Taylor Swift this year and I'm seeing Michael Bublé this year. What? <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, and I'm also going to start applying for jobs this year, which is pretty damn scary. <laughs> college will be over in a matter of, in six months. God. I absolutely love college. I don't want it to, I can't, I want it to finish because I'm like ready to, to finish. But at the same time, I've enjoyed it so much and I've met so many really lovely people, um, especially some of my te my lecturers and stuff. They've been really nice. But I kind of just don't want 20, you know, I don't want to finish college, but then I kind of do. because I'm kind of ready to go on and move on to the next stage. 2017 overall has been great, but I did say that the last couple of weeks of 2017 weren't brilliant. And it all kind of started around Christmas. So really it's only been a week, but it's been kind of looming for two weeks. My grandma for the last couple of months has been in and out of hospital. She's had a chest infection and firstly, she's old. So therefore that's a really bad thing to have a chest infection because it will affect stuff. And secondly, my grandma's also like ill in every other sense. <laughs> she's got asthma, she's got diabetes, she's got thick blood or whatever it is because she's on warfarin which is a blood thinner and stuff so basically she's on a lot of on a lot of drugs and whenever they mess up one thing they kind of eventually mess it all up this has happened before with chest infection it doesn't happen every year but it happens every few years so we're kind of used to it um but it's never gone on for this long so what they do is she goes, she normally gets a chest infection. Week, two weeks later, she's in hospital because she can't get over the chest infection. It's causing everything to go crazy. Um, they then put her on steroids because that would clear everything. If antibiotics don't clear it, the steroids would. And then the steroids muck up the diabetes and then send that blood sugar level through the roof. And it's therefore shows up high and if it shows up high, we have to be concerned because it could mean that she'd go into a diabetic coma, which obviously is not a good, good thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> we kind of don't want that to happen. And so she's been in hospital three times. Well, twice, la well, yeah, she entered hospital three times last year and she went in um, on the 29th of December. She came, she came out a few days before Christmas and then she was going back in for a chest x-ray 
um, and then she passed out in the cafe of the hospital so I mean a good place to pass out the hospital because then you know you're safe and everything to you got a lot of doctors and nurses around um, she was rushed into A&E and then she was admitted overnight and she's still in there now and we're reckoning she's going to be in there a week to two weeks so that's where I'm going now to the hospital to see her so that's kind of been one crappy thing at least the thing is we're really happy because she was out for Christmas and she was out for her Andre Rio concert which was such a wonderful experience to see her so blooming happy so yeah that was a positive but then her going back in has been a negative and obviously she was in for New Year's Eve and New Year and everything so that wasn't great but anyway not a lot we can do about that also we've had a lot of family issues uh, with my step family I can't really go into it it's kind of all finished and over with but at the same time it's not because mum and I aren't very happy with everything yeah I can't really go into it because it's obviously very personal and it's family and it's just difficult to talk about stuff with the internet and people that I don't really know <laughs> there is that potential that lots of people could see this and um, yeah that wouldn't be that wouldn't be ideal would not be ideal because it would, it would just cause drama and stuff and we had quite a lot of drama we had a massive drama on Christmas Christmas Day and it was kind of the worst Christmas I've ever had um, which wasn't great wasn't great but yeah apart from that it was all it was quite I mean it was right it's all supposedly sorted now but like I said mum and I can't really get over it yet we're not over it yet whereas everyone else is like oh let's just forget it ever happens and I'm like I, I can't do that <laughs> I can't do that because it's been brewing for a long time and yeah anyway ugh. so it led to a not very good Christmas and I felt really crap over Christmas um, everyone felt really crap over Christmas to be honest it's just not been brilliant um, so I'm hoping that 2018 <laughs> ends better than 2017 because I really don't want these last couple of weeks to like affect 20 you know affect my idea of the entire year because overall the year wasn't that the year was pretty damn good but just the ending of the year wasn't brilliant <laughs> but that's okay that's okay anyway I'm pretty much at the hospital now so I will chat to you later so I visited my grandma earlier and that was really really nice I said spent a lot of time with her I went in and she was fast asleep and she was asleep for about 20 minutes and then she woke up and she was like why didn't you wake me and I said well I couldn't do that could I, I need to sort my eyebrows out anyway yeah so yeah that was fun to yeah yeah uh, today <laughs> oh my god it's because I'm excited about tomorrow tomorrow mum and I are heading up to London there's a couple of reasons first reason being I've got to finish my photography photos take the photos all by the time I go back which I go back on Wednesday but I don't have a lesson till Thursday so all my photos need to be taken by Thursday and I need to do two shoots so I'm going to do those in London tomorrow but the second reason is I saw in about the uh, middle of December I think that the V&A Museum in London had an exhibition on Winnie the Pooh. It's a limited time um, exhibition and I really wanted to go and we booked our tickets. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, so it's Winnie the Pooh exploring a classic. I've had a look on the interweb at what kind of thing there is to expect and I'm going to look because um, I know Charlotte Ruff went um, in December time so I'm going to watch that vlog. Actually, no, I don't want to watch it. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to watch it so I know what to expect, but at the same time I want it to always be a surprise so I can take it in and be like, oh my god, Winnie the Pooh! Because I love Winnie the Pooh. One of my favourite Disney things, I guess. It's not really Disney at the same time, but at the same time it is. It's one of my favourite things. And any time I see Winnie the Pooh or watch a film or a TV show or like read a book or something on Winnie the Pooh, I get really happy and so... I thought that'd be a really nice thing to do before I go back to college and start the new year, have like something really happy. I'm very excited to be going with my mum tomorrow. We've uh, booked our slot for 12.15, so that is going to be good. I'm excited. I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to go and see all of it in all its glory. I love Winnie the Pooh, as I've said, and it's just so good. Just so good. I'm so excited. <laughs>
strain I know my circles I know my name Another sequel Is on the way Oh pajamas and it is like 20 to 1. <laughs> Today I go back to college and I've been mad panic writing an essay that I haven't written. I finished it. I don't have lessons till 10 to 3. I did have a mad panic. They've literally just, my college have literally just emailed me saying there's a change to my timetable effective immediately and they're basically changing our lunch break so we get a longer lunch break. We basically now have like an hour for lunch, which is absolutely blissful. Um, it means that I don't have to mad panic rush and eat my food. I can just do it gently and eat and be fine. But it means that lesson times have changed and stuff. And I honestly thought that my lesson had changed and that I had to be in earlier than I would normally. Totally wrong though, because my lesson is actually not affected by the time change. Because we used to have three breaks a day, we still do have three breaks a day, but because they've extended our lunch break by 15 minutes, we now, or is it 10 minutes? 10 minutes. We now have a shorter lunch, um, afternoon break. Um, so we only have a five minute break in between the, like, last two lessons, which is kind of annoying. I did quite like the 15 minute break, but at the same time, I was quite happy to just sit and chill. Um, I was quite happy to just carry on so I could go home. And because the only day it affects me is a Thursday, which is tomorrow, obviously, my lessons are in the same building. So it doesn't give me enough time to go downstairs, see my friends and come back up again to go into a different room because it's only five minutes. So I don't really have the time to go see my friends on a Thursday, which sucks. But 
I guess it's gonna have to do. I don't know why they've changed it so we've got an hour for lunch, but I think we've got 55 minutes technically. Um, but I'm gonna go with an hour, <laughs> makes it sound better. But I don't know why they've changed that, but they have. And so I have less of a break in the middle and that my lesson tomorrow starts at 1.15 rather than five past one, which doesn't make a lot of difference to me because I don't have a lesson before lunch anyway. I mean, the only day it is gonna make a difference on is a Monday. It's gonna mean I come home 15 minutes later than what I, or 10 minutes, no, yeah, 15 minutes later than what I normally would on a Monday. Is that really the end of the world? No. I still get to come home slightly earlier on a Wednesday, that, uh, Monday than most. I used to finish at half three, half, half two, and used to get home just before three, whereas I now finish at quarter past, quarter two, three, and I'm gonna get home 10 past three-ish if I like run out of my lesson. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. It's not like I have a job that starts at three o'clock that I need to get to or anything. So it doesn't really make much of a difference, but I did have a mad panic moment like, oh my God, I've got to be in for two o'clock. And, like, and then I looked, read the email again and I was like, oh, I don't actually have to be in till 10 to because my slot hasn't changed. Oh, it was so confusing because how they've done it is they split our timetable in. We've got four lessons a day now, technically, but they've split it into eight lessons a day. Don't ask me why, because all lessons are double lessons. Um, so they put lessons five and six have obviously altered because of the lunch break. So I put, I saw lesson six and went two o'clock and went, oh my God, oh my God, I need to get a move on. I need to eat something. I need to get dressed. I need to put makeup on. I need to leave. I need to, oh my God, I need to do so much. And then I read lessons seven and eight, no change. And I was like, wait, what? We don't have eight lessons. We have four lessons. What? And then I realized that they've gone. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. But <laughs> I had a really mad panic moment that I was going to be late for my lesson. I mean, I wasn't because luckily I would have realized in enough time and I'd have had to leave in like half hour-ish. Um, so I would have had time to quickly eat something, get changed, put some makeup on, but it would be very rushed. Whereas now I can carry on as normal. <laughs> that was so stressful. I don't know why they didn't email us like on yesterday because all the staff were in yesterday. So they could have emailed us yesterday telling us that these things have changed because half the people aren't gonna know. So stupid, oh my God. So I've just spent most of my Friday filming videos. I went to college this morning and um, did film, film my, to have my film lesson. Then I went to see my grandma because she's out of hospital now. Don't know if I told you that, but she's out of hospital. And I went and fed her some lunch and stuff because we're worried that if she just kind of stays in her flat on her own, she won't eat. So I went and got fish and chips from the chip shop for her. And I spent some time with her. We had a chat, we talked about Andre Rio, um, <laughs> we talked about all that kind of stuff. And then I came home about four o'clock, got home about like 20 past four-ish, and I came home and I sat and filmed a video and my camera is still on the tripod now and I thought, well, I might as well just take this moment to vlog whilst I don't have to hold the camera. I filmed my 2017 favourites, by the way, if you're interested in watching, would really appreciate it if you did. It took me a long time to film. <laughs> A really long time to film. I'm here in Bournemouth. Oh, I'm out of focus. There's loads of people around, so it's weird vlogging. But I'm about to be reunited with Amit and Bethany. Um. <laughs> That's what I say every day to myself. <laughs> Yay! And now yours, now yours. I'm really excited for this. I was excited for that, but I'm more excited for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bought this so long ago. Oh my God. <laughs> so I am saying goodbye to Bethany and Amit. Bethany is going back to uni soon, and Amit carrying on with my gap here. Yep. <laughs> I haven't seen them since summer. I haven't seen you since Disney. Since June. July. July? We went in July, didn't we? Was it July? I can't remember. No, more to the point. I haven't June since September. <laughs> <laughs> um, met May? There's a car, so we need to move. So yeah, I've had a really good day.
play with these guys. I miss them all. Well, I miss you already. <laughs> We're not to leave it as long. You're coming to visit me at uni though. Yes, I will. Definitely. And Amit, we'll just have to make more of an effort to see each other because you live like in Bournemouth. <laughs> so one of the girls is like, she's doing a vlog. <laughs> I get that all the time. Everyone's just like, oh my god. I had someone, oh, you were there. We were someone chat up. Are you a YouTuber? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Group oh. hug. Actually, no, this is really awkward. <laughs> this is a stupid mistake. <laughs> we're so cute. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye. It is Sunday and it's 11 o'clock and I've kind of had the day at home not doing what well, I have been doing quite a lot because I've actually taken my uh, Christmas tree down. I've got some fairy lights on over there which I need to go and turn off in a moment. But yeah, so I've taken all of my Christmas decorations down, all packed, all done. I still have my Christmas bedding on but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because by the time it got to me like sorting it out it was kind of like quite late <laughs> and it was dinner and after dinner I kind of just came up here and realized I had a load of work to do Ooh. before college tomorrow and I still have a load to do but I'm getting to the point where I don't want to do it now I'm wearing my pen so I need to write a to-do list because my to-do list is longer than my arm Oh, found it. I've been busy today, but I uh, needed to do a little bit more. So I'm gonna plan out a schedule roughly for tomorrow. I've got college and everything, so I can't like, like plan too much. Oh, so much to do and no time to do it in. But anyway, because it's so late and I wanna go to bed now, I need to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't terrible. I feel like I didn't vlog much this week. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you next week for another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.